Hey guys, it's Wade. I'm back. Ready to do another plasma cut. This will be a pretty big one. This is the live panel in the 90,000 thick 6061 aluminum. I spent about an hour earlier today making all the final tweaks in the panel. At least as much as I'm going to make for the plasma cutter. I may have to end up shaving some a little by hand, but this is it. So I'll fire this thing up and I'm going to cut it in two different phases. I'm going to do all the interior cuts and once that's done I'll go back to zero zero and then I'll do the perimeter cut. Okay, it skewed it a little bit over here. I think I can fix that. I'm not sure why that happened. It did have a little bit of problems here because this was, these were small holes and this was bouncing up a little bit. But the holes are in the correct spot. So I can just drill those out. That's not a big issue. Uh, I'll have to work on this a little bit, I think. Okay, now I'm gonna print the perimeter out. Let's see how this works. Okay, as you can see, we lost arc voltage. I'm going to have to repost this file. Okay, we're going to do this again for the perimeter. I'm going to start over in here. Okay, it looks like we got a good cut on the perimeter. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm not going to recut this hole and this hole right here. I'm going to leave these other ones, even though this one might be off just a hair. I'm going to leave it alone. It's kind of hard to tell, but if you can see those two rectangular holes, one's down lower than the other. I don't know what happened. I guess I lost some steps. These are regular stepper motors. They're not closed loop, so that's the first time that's happened. But I'm going to go over here. This is a little jagged. I'm going to recut this hole and then that hole I may have to fill that in later on welding some filler material in there ok 
Okay, I'm gonna do one more cut. I'm gonna cut this other rectangle just to make sure it's cut as neatly as it's supposed to be. And then uh, I'm just gonna call it a day. This came out a lot better. It cleaned it up quite a bit, so that's good. And um, pretty much from there, any minor you know, variances, I'm just gonna have to live with that. I'm slightly disappointed on a couple parts of it, but overall, I don't think it's a tragedy. It's going to work. I'm just going to have to clean up a couple things. Um, that's it. So that is the end of the official plasma cutting of the official panel. And so then I'm going to clean this thing up probably over the next week as I dial everything in. But I'll throw it in here soon and, and show you some pictures and possibly a video on it. I figured I would provide a little after action report on this plasma cutting session. This did come out cleanly. But the cutout for the GNS 480 up in this corner right here was not all the way cut through so i had to wiggle that back and forth a few times it snapped free i'll have to clean that up no big deal as far as the power i think it was a really good power setting i checked with marco and he's got a different plasma cutter he's got the hypertherm 45 xp i've got the prime weld cut 60 and he used 30 amps at 100 inches per minute, and I just bumped that up. 31 amps in the interior, and then I wanted a little bit more oomph. Just another amp on the X, on the perimeter, but I there's hardly any heat affected zones. I mean, I've ran my hand along the edge. I've taken a, a few blobs off here and there, but nothing major. The one thing I did take off was there was kind of a piece hanging here. I'm going to have to clean this corner up. So this part right here, and then this part right... Whoops, I don't even know if I'm on camera. This part right here, and then this part right here. That was probably the two worst areas as far as cutting than as far as geometry. This part right here, um, you know, that's cleaned up. So I think we. I'll just have to... You know, do the normal cleanup by hand. And then I think this is set up well enough. I can just do some filing. I think the flange of the of the um, switches, these are rocker switches. You know, I may have to clean it up a bit. But I may have to fill in just a tad down here to keep it secure. But I think this is going to be okay. Then the back, there's just extremely little dross. And where there is, like right here, it just peels off by hand. Probably five minutes, ten minutes at the most, with the file just hitting it. And I mean, the physical hitting of the edge with the file is just what's going to take long, not the actual removal of the dross. I just have to physically go around each edge and hit it. And uh, so I'll flip this around like this so you can see the dross on the back. Came out pretty good. You know, this stuff, look, it just cleans right up. Just, again, it's not burnt or fried. No huge heat marks on it on the front or back. This hole didn't go all the way through. These holes were a little bit um, not great. But then, again, you know, with uh, without it being fried and no heat, huge heat affected zones and all that, I should be able to drill through that just fine. Clean those holes up, which... I, I probably would have to anyway. It seems to cut just a hair under. So that's it. That is the official 90,060-61 instrument panel. Thanks for watching again. Cheers.